it is my prayer that this um, message will really help you overcome so many things. It's uh, you, and to be able to use your subconscious powerfully. So, ang title natin, learn not to let your subconscious sabotage your destiny. Sabi natin ang ganda ng destiny natin, but there are a lot of Christians na parang uh, talunan, talunan. And uh, this lesson will teach us how to be victorious. Uh, dun sa ating mga Saturday classes with Pastor Chris, she she focuses on the spirit. Tonight we're going to focus on the soul, and I'll explain that later. So point number one: our subconscious mind it's is God's powerful gift to us. So, isip, ano, ano, ano ba yung subconscious mind natin? So, God is working in us through and through. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, sabi, May the God of peace make you holy in every way. And may ito tayo, our whole spirit, soul, and body. Yung soul natin, yan yung ating mind and ating emotions. Sabi, it may be kept blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. And God will make this happen for he who calls you is faithful. So we talk about our spirits, our worship, our prayers. And ang spirit natin nakaka-communicate kay God and si God nagko-communicate sa spirits natin. Kaya nga lang, kung ano yung kinokommunicate ni God, tinatranslate sa ating mind. Para maintindihan natin kung gusto mo Tagalog, English, pag binasa mo yung Bible, no, kailangan maintindihan mo. That's why hindi pa sabi, love God with all of your mind, your heart, your uh, strength. Kasama yung mind. So tonight, we're going to uh, understand our mind. Look at this picture. What happens in our minds now? Imagine, ito yung brain natin. Ito yung subconscious, yung orange. Ano yung conscious? Yung maliit na maliit na yun. Dito sa front. In other words, yung conscious, yan yung katulad ngayon, naririnig nyo ako, nakikita nyo ako, you're conscious. Pero yung subconscious mind nyo, hindi ko lang alam kung, kung ini-store ninyo yung mga sinasabi ko. Because sometimes we don't know how to listen. That's why there is no learning. We have to listen with the subconscious mind. Uh, mas saturate. Kailangan iso soak in natin yung pinapakinggan natin. Kaya nag-notes tayo kung ano-ano ang inaano natin. Because uh, nandun pala lahat ng learning sa subconscious mind. Nandun yung, nand, yung mga sinasabi ko na, nandun. Nandyan dapat sa inyo. And sometimes, hindi ba yung sinasabi nga nila, uh, papasok sa isang tenga, lalabas sa isang tenga. Basahin natin to. <clears throat> this is about conscious learning. This is the power of our subconscious mind. The conscious part of our minds is the one that we are fully aware of and which we use to process, compare, and analyze information from our environment. So yung nababasa nyo ngayon, nakikita nyo, naririnig nyo, ang gumagalaw dyan, yung maliit na ito, yung yan, yung conscious. Pero hopefully, yung subconscious nyo, nag-iisip bakit? Sabi, the subconscious part is the one that we are not fully aware of, pero nandyan sa, it influence all our actions and feelings. It is said to account for 90% of our decisions. My goodness, ito pala yung nagde-decide nandito. Sa subconscious, yung malaking-malaking 90% na yan. And uh, sometimes, yung, yung pinapa-under lang natin, oh, nakinig, ka, nakinig ka ba ng message? Oo. Narinig mo, nakita mo si Pastor Mina? Oo. O ano yung message? Ay, hindi ko na maalala. Kasi wala dun sa subconscious. Nakinig ka lang dito sa conscious. It goes from one ear to the other. Kaya pala yun yung expression. Ano? Tumatawid. We must let it sink into our subconscious. It, sabi nga, itanin mo sa isip mo. If you want to learn, 
you saturate your subconscious with the, the teaching. Huwag mababaw. Yung pagka yung conscious lang, yung ngayon, yung kung anong naririnig niyo, mababaw lang yan. That's shallow listening at hindi nanunuot. That's why it's important to take down notes. It's important. Do you know that uh, when I take down notes or when I study something, I, kaya ganito kalaking notebook ko sa notes ko. Kasi, nagdo-drawing ako. No? Dino-drawing ko, mag sketch ako dun sa kung ano yung binabasa ko. Because I want my subconscious to receive it all. Okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> Now, ang sabi, your brain sees what you don't see. <laughs> May nakikita yung brain natin na hindi natin nakikita sa ating mata. Yun yung subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is the powerhouse behind our thoughts, our feelings and perceptions and beliefs. Grabe, nandyan lahat. Nandito. At tayo, conscious lang tayo yung, yung iniisip natin, pero nandun pala. Kung minsan, walang laman yun. <laughs> walang laman. So, para bang, pag tinanong ka, ha? Hindi mo alam. So, it is the source of all our emotions, yung subconscious, nandyan yung fear, disgust, anger, and sadness. And you know what? The subconscious never sleeps. And it can process 11 million pieces of information per second. Grabe. So, alam niyo ba na, well, Compared, yung inyong conscious minds, 40 pieces per second lang. So, itong sinasabi ko, 40 pieces, dumadaan dyan sa inyong consciousness. Pero yung 11 million pieces, kung ano-anong nasasagap. No, yung mga yung nandyan sa bahay nyo, nakikita nyo yung anak nyo. Na, kaya kailangan mag-concentrate para masagap nyo yung tinuturo ni God sa inyo. Kaya nga maganda yung pag matutulog ka, i-on mo yun. Di ba meron sa YouTube yung verses? Because, para naririnig ng subconscious mind mo. Because if you notice, sometimes if you if you are asked, ano pala yung lesson ng ano? Ano yung verse? Ay, hindi ko maalala. So, kaya na nga we have to learn with our subconscious mind. Okay, sabi dito, the subconscious learns by repetition and not reason. Sige, pakingan natin to. The subconscious part of our brains, however, does not analyze or judge what we are exposed to. So yung nandito, wala siyang iniisip. Nandyan lang lang lahat. It simply records and stores whatever it senses as data without a conscious filter for truth or falsehood. Kaya kahit na good or bad, lahat yung sinasagap niya, tama, mali, yung lesson ko ngayon at yung meron naka-on na TV, sinasagap niya lahat yan. No? And the more we are exposed to something, the higher in priority it becomes. So the the subconscious mind learns by repetition, not by logic. Kaya kaya lang, kung ano yung inulit-ulit mo, yun ang mamememorize niya. Over time, we form many deeply imprinted, imprinted subconscious impressions that form the foundations for our beliefs and values. Kaya, mag-attend kayo ng Bible studies, mag-attend kayo ng Ming Watch, Every day, yes, every night. Sabi nga ni God sa ano, I read the word day and night. Meditate on it day and night. Bakit? Para pumasok doon, manuot sa subconscious. Hindi yung nandito lang. Akala mo, na, nag-Bible study ka, nakinig ka ngayon sa Wayne Watch, okay ka na. Pagsara natin, maano mo na, wala kang naalala. Kaya nga, meron mga skills for memory. Para, you have to repeat. No? Sana, you can repeat what you have learned. How can you repeat if you don't take notes? You know, if you take notes, pwede nung i-share. Alam mo, yung subconscious, eto, sandali, ah, basahan ko. And then when you share, yung, yung when you repeat, your subconscious loves repetition. Lalo siyang natututo. 
lalo niya na-memorize yung mga verses, yung word ni God. So do not underestimate the power of Bible studies, of, pre of sermons, messages, because uh, let your subconscious learn. Ito pa, no? So, when we choose to follow Jesus, it is not only our conscious minds that we need to renew. We also need to renew our subconscious minds since that is what ultimately drives our behavior. This is what the Bible refers to as the old self that makes us inclined to sin over and over again on all the play. So, bakit ko na pa ulit ulit? Kasi yan ang memorize ng subconscious mo eh. So, kailangan marirenew yon. And tonight, you will learn how to renew that. Okay, in Romans 12, 2, sabi, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person. How? By changing the way you think. So, wala, walang makakain yung spirit mo pag yung, yung walang laman yung brain mo. So, nakikinig naman ako, nagbabasa naman ako. Oo nga, pero hanggang conscious mind lang. Hindi nanunuot sa subconscious kung saan yung learning nandun, ng memory nandun lahat. So, that's the first uh, point. Our subconscious mind is God's powerful gift. To us ba or for us? Okay, number two. Our subconscious mind can sabotage our destiny. Pagka hindi mo inyungatan yan, anong glorious destiny? Nag-Jesus naman ako, nag-a-attend ako ng win match. Bakit parang sirang-sira ang buhay ko? Wala, wala yung glorious destiny. Bakit ano? Because yung subconscious mo, walang laman. Nandi, pag dumaan sa conscious mo, labas sa kabilang tenga. Yes, Sheila, let us marinate. That's why you have to review the notes. That you, kunyari, nag-notes ka nga, abi, i-review mo. And so that's why, ang laki ng pag-asa ko sa OSG teachers natin. Dahil yung tinuro sa kanila, yung keynote, ituturo nila ulit. So, lang nare-repeat, no? Repetition is your power. The power of the subconscious. Okay. Look at this. This is very important, so please listen. Our subconscious is what is operational up to 10 years old. Ang, ang bata, 8 to 10 years, 1 to 10 years old, hindi daw marunong yung conscious niya, hindi marunong ng logic. Ang umiiral sa kanya yung subconscious. So kung anong na-perceive niya, anong nasagap niya, akala niya yun na yung totoo. At kahit na siya, akala ng subconscious niya, totoo lahat, sa, matakaw ang subconscious eh. Ba't kaya nga pati mali, nakukuha ng subconscious. Okay, so, okay, let's read this. This means that during the first 8 to 10 years of our lives, we would have witnessed many social cues and felt many emotions. Yung mga galit, kung ano, yung nag-aaway, yung magulang mo, gano. Pero we had no real ability to interpret or understand. Hindi natin alam yung tama, ang mali. Kala lang natin, okay lahat yun. Yun ang nakikita natin sa magulang natin, naririnig. So they were simply taken as facts. Perceptions and feelings were taken as realities. Childlike ideas or self-beliefs, values, inner vows, and fears took root. As young children, we may not be able to express our emotional needs even when we felt something was wrong. This will eventually manifest as feelings of anxiety, restlessness, grief, emptiness, or even anger. So kung yung mga may anak sa inyo na below 10 years old, Kung ano-anong nasasagap nila. Kung sa kanila, hindi nila napoprocess yon. Basta nandiyan lang lahat sa kanilang subconscious. Kaya nga pagtanda nila, kung ano-anong mga maling mga katuruan. So, painful childhood memories can last a lifetime. Sino sa inyo ang may painful childhood memories? Alam nyo, yung generation natin, gano'n. Kasi ang generation natin, more more or less, yung mga parents natin, hindi pa born again. 
Bihira lang yung born again. Yan sa generation natin, no? bihira yung born again yung parents. So pinalaki tayo ng mga parents na hindi born again. Kaya marami tayong painful childhood memories. Nasaan yun? Pag, pag tinanong kita, naalala mo, oh, hindi eh. Kasi, pero pag nag, nag-concentrate ka, ma- ma- mahuhugot mo siya sa subconscious mo. The subconscious memory of such painful childhood experiences can stay with us for life. No matter how much we may prosper later in life, we don't feel entirely satisfied. Our spirits can still feel heavy, unfulfilled, or crushed. But we won't be able to really explain why. So even your relationship kay God, even your uh, disciple ka, parang Okay. Fro- frozen daw ako, no? Yeah, that's right. There. I found a way of, ano. So there you go. So uh, it's very important to give our children very good subconscious memory. Para paglaki nila, yun ang nakastore sa kanilang subconscious. Hindi yung conscious ang importante kasi yung conscious, napapakiusapan yan eh. Pwede mo sabihin sa conscious, oh mali yan ha, ganito, ganyan. Yung subconscious, hindi. Pagka pumasok na doon, akala niya yun na yung totoo. Hindi niya napoprocess. Memory lang siya, me- storage. Okay. So as so let's read this. While we can choose not to consciously think about them today, meaning our memories of childhood, our subconscious minds will never forget our childhood experiences. Kaya ngayon pa lang mag-notes na kayo kung may naaalala kayo. Pangit na na memory ng childhood dahil I'm sure na-affect yung ating pagiging Christian ngayon. No? Data banks of subconscious negative emotions that are linked to our childhood memories, such yung mga yan, mga fear, shame, resentment, hatred, for, will hinder us from loving God and others fully. So, hindi mo maintindihan. Bakit ako ganito? Eh, nag-Bible study naman kami, naintindihan ko naman. Pero nung nag-react ako, wala na, sabi ko, yes, I believe. Nung may nangyari, takot na takot ako. Hindi naman ako parang believe na believe. Because there's something inside your subconscious na hindi mo pa naririnyo. So as children, we may have, or your children, they may have hardened, no, we may have hardened our hearts through emotional suppression, unforgiveness, bitterness, or hatred. We label the adults who hurt us as bad and continue to hate them. So kung hate mo, nainis ka sa magulang mo ngayon, hanggang adulthood, hindi mo naiintindihan at i-deny mo, of course not, I love my mom, pero Meron ginawa o sinabi yung mother mo na hindi mo mapatawad, hindi mapatawad ng subconscious mo. Nandun pa rin siya, hindi mo alam. And we may also have numbed our feelings, manhid na, no? as a means to ignore the pain in our hearts. We mask our pain, put on a smile, and pretend that everything is okay, even if it's not okay. We, we may have, we bury and forget our pain. We dull our senses and go through life semi-conscious. Yes, Ruth, tama. We must, be, pati yung subconscious, it must be renewed, it must be born again. Born again tayo lahat, but kaya nga sabi, paano ka matatransform? By the renewal of your mind. You know, it did not even say by the renewal of your spirit or of your body. Eh, no? Your mind, because it, dapat nag, to, the way you process Spiritual truth will depend on your mind. It will depend on your understanding. Yes, Wayne, very important what we feed to children below 10 years, 10 years old. So now, how do we sabotage our destiny? Paano natin nasisira? Tatlo yun, ano? We, we have wrong mental habits. Meron na tinatawag self-deception and self-limiting beliefs. So, yung mental habits muna. 
So know what your mental habits do to you. Tingnan nyo kung may mental habit kayo na mali. <laughs> Depending on how active your mind is, you may produce more than 45,000 thoughts a day. Some get buried in our subconscious and stay there. Yung mga mali <laughs> nandun. Yeah. Hopefully, maraming tama. You're, hopefully, marami dito sa sinasabi ko gets buried in your subconscious. Your life is directed by your thoughts. And your thoughts create your behavior. And these thoughts are the thoughts buried. Nung naitanim. Hindi yung bagong kaisipan. Yung, eh kaso kung wala, ano pang nakatanim sa'yo? Eh paminsan-minsan ka lang magbasa ng Bible. So magugulat ka. Bakit ganun ka mag-react? Kasi yung nakatanim sa'yo mali. Yung mga napanood mo sa Pilipino movies na mga, na, na, mga maling ano. So your thoughts ngayon affect the chemistry in your brain and the poison thoughts create emotional and physical pain. So lahat yan connected hanggang sa spirit mo and sa brain, sa body. Dr. Caroline Lee, she's a, a neuroscientist doctor. She reported that around 87% of illnesses can be attributed to our thought life, to our subconscious. Pag sinabing thought life, akala natin yung kung paano ka mag-isip. Hindi. Kung pa, ano ang isip na nakatanim. Kung ano yung tinanim mo dyan, nakatanim. Tinanim na nung bata ka pa. Maling mga kaisipan yung nakatanim. Yung, yung pag-iisip mo ngayon, right now, nag-iisip kayo habang nagsasalita ako. Hindi pa, hindi yan. Kung, sa, sa makukuha niyo sa sinasabi ko, yun ang magbabago ng buhay niyo. Kung ano yung itanin niyo dun sa subconscious. 95% of your brain. So, what do you do with this mental habit? Sabi dito sa Philippians 4.6. Pastor Cooks, can you read it so I can rest my throat? Sure, Pastor Mean. Philippians 4 verse 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. 7. Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you, you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. So, grabe itong verse na to, no? Ayan yung mga mental habits natin. Kailangan, number one mental habit, don't worry. Second mental habit is talk to God about everything and then be grateful do you know that uh, before i sleep every night there are three things that I, I write in my diary what do i want to thank god for the three things happened that that day what did god do that day so para yung, yung aking subconscious masaya di ba and you will, sabi nga, pagka ganyan ka, you will experience God's peace. And then, it will guard your heart and mind. And then, sabi, pagkatapos nun, fix your thoughts, paggising mo, yun, what is true, honorable, etc. Yung kung ano yung tama. Think about these things, and sabi, put it into practice, all you learn. I practice mo because when you practice it lalong na matatangin sa mind natin sa subconscious akala natin oy obey ha magpractice ka hindi natin alam yan ang technique para uh, ma-transform yung ating subconscious ma-renew when the moment you put it into practice the the more i mean lalong na itatangin Okay. So yung pangauna yun, mental habits, no? it can sabotage kung hindi tayo mag ina masisira yung destiny natin. Another thing sa isip natin, self-deception. Grabe, itong pinaka-grabe na uh, awesome no? na, sa akin. No? Na, 
the subconscious ways with uh, what there are subconscious ways that we deceive ourselves. Alam niyo ba na we lie to ourselves in subconscious natin? Ganito no, self-deception involves allowing ourselves to believe something about ourselves that is not true because the truth is more unpleasant. If there is something na ayaw mong paniwalaan, meron kang i-inventohin about yourself na yun ang pinaniniwalaan mo. Na okay ako, okay ako, kahit na hindi. Hindi ako galit kahit na galit ka. So panini, you are lying to yourself. And we use it to avoid pain, embarrassment, and shame. It also involves deceiving ourselves as to our true feelings, motives, circumstances. For example, a dreamer who keeps postponing with excuses about not having enough time or it, it not being the right time to start it. Yung pagka, o ginawa mo mo ba yung pinagagawa ko? Hindi, hindi ko pa nagagawa yan kasi ganito, may kung ano-anong excuse. You are lying to yourself. That's not, para, yung, ang dami mong excuse, hindi yun yung totoo. Ayaw mo lang start o tinatamad ka lang. Or, so these are ways that we can lie. Pangalawa, a young single with her romantic interest is in love with her. You can say, alam mo may gusto sa akin si ganito. Yung mga ganun, no? Na, na, ano yun, nadideceive sila na, Nung, nung tinignan ako ni ano, ang ting, naramdaman ko, may gusto sa akin si Mr. So-and-so eh. <laughs> diba? So you are lying to yourself. You are deceived. Niloloko mo sarili mo. Or a spouse who rationalizes his or... Kunyari yung, ba, yung asawa na nangaliwa, meron siyang ano eh, kasi ganito yan. Okay lang yun dahil ganito. So meron na naman siyang deception sa sarili niya. An addict who believes her addictions are under control. Hindi kaya ko yan, konti lang eh. Huwag ka masyadong inom ka ng araw-araw, inom ka ng hindi, konti lang, kaya ko yan. So these are the, the, the way that we deceive ourselves. And you know what? Yung subconscious mo naniniwala. Nandun. <laughs> Nanini, ayun ang problema, naniniwala yung mind mo sa kasinungalingan natin. So what are we hiding from ourselves? Ano kaya, what truths are ayaw mong aminin? Amen? So dapat, ito yung how do we respond? How, what is the cure for self-deception? Ito, Jeremiah 17.9 sabi, The human heart is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who really knows how bad it is? Psalm 139, 20, Search me, O God, know my heart. Test me, know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. I don't want to deceive myself. So, anong sabi mo kay God? Point out. Lord, ituro mo sa akin, sabihin mo kung ano'y mali ko. Ginagawa niyo ba yon? Or nagko-confess ka lang, yung kino-confess mo mali. Example, you know, uh, baby Christian pa ako nung siguro mga three years old, ganyan. Three-year-old Christian. Ngayon, galit na galit ako sa isang preacher na nagpanayang preach. Mali-mali naman ang turo, hindi Christ-centered at hindi tungkol kay hindi na mahal si Jesus. Kung ano-ano mga, alam mo, alam niyo naman yun, may mga preaching na gano'n. So galit na galit ako, sinusumbong ko siya kay God. Lord, bigyan mo ako ng point out, sabi ko. And Kakausapin ko siya, haharapin ko siya. Pero point out anything in me that offends you. Pagbasa ko sa Philippians, alam niyo yung sabi nung pagbukas ko ng Philippians, yun yung reading ko, sabi, there are people who do things out of love, but there are people who do things out of selfish ambition and vain conceit. Para, ah, pinoint out ni God, mali ka, conceited ka, mayabang ka lang. Hindi ikaw ang gagamitin ko para sa tao. May ambisyon ka lang. Gusto mo ikaw yung mag-preach kasi bilib ka sa sarili mo. Kala mo, three years old Christian pa lang ako, di pa ako marunong mag-preach. No? So sometimes, ayun, you need God to point it out. So alam nyo, 
hindi ko na kinausap yung teacher na yun, hindi na ako, hindi na ako mayabang na, that's wrong, wala na ako mga pag-ganong-ganong. Shut up na lang ako. That, because I was deceiving myself in thinking that I was doing something good for the church. Amen? So tingnan nyo, hindi, the heart is deceitful, sabi. Akala nyo yung ginagawa nyo maganda, but maybe there is something that God needs to point out. So it's not a matter of uh, just confessing. Ako, I don't confess what I think is my sin. I ask God to point out my sin, and that's what I confess. Amen? And then, uh, self-limiting beliefs. Yes, po, Pastor Min. Nawala po yung slide, Pastor. I mean, next slide po. Yan. Self-limiting beliefs stored in our subconscious minds were often created when we were children. These hold us back from growing as a person. Once formed, these beliefs are stored rarely questions, and all but forgotten. Yet, they provide the compass we live by as adults. Every time something in our life matches the sub subconscious belief we hold, that belief is further confirmed. Limiting beliefs are caused by a number of factors, but they all stem from the same place. Your brain's desire to protect you from pain in the future. So in other words, kung ano-anong pinanilin maulaan natin sa sarili natin, at nandun siya sa subconscious natin. For example, can you read, Pastor? I'm not good enough. Number two, I'm too old or too young. Number three, I don't have enough time. Number four, I'm not smart enough. Number five, I don't have enough experience. Number six, I'll never be successful. Number seven, I don't have enough money to enjoy. Number eight, I'll never be one of the best. Number nine, I'm not talented enough. And number 10, I'll never be a great leader. Okay. And usually, nakukuha natin daw yan sa parents, sa teachers, nung bata tayo. No? Itong, itong anak ko, ito, naku, ewan ko kung ano nangyari dito. Itong isa matalino, ito hindi. <laughs> Yung mga ganun. And uh, so, if the parents have unreasonable expectations, so nagkakaroon ng mga ganong beliefs. Hanggang pagtanda niya, hindi niya alam, nakuha niya yon nung 5 years old siya or 10 years old. And even yung mga ano, classmates, di ba? So this why if your parents, naisip ko, you have to talk to your children about what happened in school. What did your classmates say? What did you teach? Kasi maaring meron silang marinig o may sinabi sa kanila that can be self-limiting, traumatic sa kanila. Okay? And... Okay, last point, our subconscious mind can lead us towards our glorious destiny. Ito naman ang good news, okay? The Holy Spirit will give us new thoughts through God's words. Alam natin yan, ano? Pag nagbasa tayo, hindi yung basa lang, no? Yung kailangan pa ipanood mo sa iyong subconscious. Romans 8, those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things, but those who are controlled by the Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. So letting your sinful nature control your mind will lead to death, but letting this Holy Spirit control your mind leads to life. So, napaka-importante, what controls your mind? And don't think, when pag sinabing mind, it's the, the subconscious. It's not what we're, right now, lahat tayo nag eh. Right now, nakikita ko kayo, nag-iisip, ganyan, kaya tinitingnan ko, nakaano pa ba yung, ano ko, nakasteady pa ba ako, or, you know, nasa ano yun, ano, nandito yun sa ating conscious, pero yung, ano yung nandun sa subconscious? So we have the Holy Spirit as counselor and healer for our subconscious childhood emotions. It's God who created us and can give us new life. Sabi nga, know that the Lord, He is God, it is He who made us, and we are His, we are His people and the sheep of His pasture. So transforming 
our beliefs and thought patterns is one of the most effective ways to remove negative thoughts. So sabi nga, how do you remove negative thoughts from your subconscious? Uh, replace these negative thoughts with positive ones. Subliminal or audio, audio and affirmations can help us remove negative thoughts from our subconscious mind. Subliminal audio, yung mga yung sa YouTube, pag natutulog ka, papakinggan mo lang yun kahit natulog ka, subliminally naririnig ng iyong subconscious. Yes, tama, Joseph. Uh, yung sa uh, tao lang ako, that is a self-limiting belief. Pero actually, anak ako ni God. Diba? Choose, journey, use this, mga kapatid. Choose journaling is a great way to get all those thoughts out of your head so you can process them more clearly. Kaya, sulat nyo yung mga maling iniisip nyo, galit nyo, whatever it is. Tapos habang pinabasa nyo, ma-analyze nyo. Lord, kausapin mo ko. Ano yung sabi? Point out. Point out, Lord. Ituro mo sa akin yung mali ko. Ituro mo sa akin. Tandaan nyo, the old is gone and we must replace it with the new because the new has come. Now, these are the three main things that um, how do you now access and renew our subconscious mind? I'll try to be fast. Number three things, identify the negatives, replace it with God's word and vision, and repeat God's word and vision. I'll explain. Importante to, no? right now, if you can identify something negative about you. Ako ay matatakotin, or ako ay sinungaling. Habit, sabi ng magulang ko, lagi akong magsin, whatever it is, identify it. Okay, and then, we will replace it. Now, repetition is the key. Pastor Cooks, can you read, please? Repetition is key. The subconscious mind works through repetition, which is a way to reprogram your subconscious mind to achieve its purpose. Without continuous repetition of what you are trying to achieve, you will go nowhere. Repetition is a learning aid because it helps transition a skill from the conscious to the subconscious. Through repetition, a skill is practiced and rehearsed over time and gradually becomes easier. So even in our office, yung vision mission ng LGI, dapat nakapaskil. Kasi repetition yun eh. Ito yung titingnan mo, na, na ano mo, no? Or at least yung logo man lang, sana ma-remind kayo, advance the Jesus agenda. Repetition, repetition. Diba this is what we studied, ano, Pastor Cooks, diba? Repetition is... Akala mo lang ano yan, ulit pa ulit ulit because pinapasok mo sa iyong subconscious. Without repetition, it won't. Okay, so. Okay, erase seeds of doubt. Kunyari may mga matakotin ka, doubt, wala kang faith, mahina. No? So identify Kung ano yun, replace it with God's word and kung may vision and repeat. If you have that seed of doubt, your subconscious picks up on that. So to erase those seeds of doubt, you have to repeat, repeat, repeat. If you doubt that you will finish well, repeat this verse. So hanap ka ng verse. Ako yun ang pinakatakutan ko, Lord, maganda yung umpisa ko, maganda yung ginagawa ko. But will I finish well? I am sure of this. Sa Philippians, that he who started a good work in me will carry it on to completion. Lord, ikaw ang gagawa, you will complete the good work. I will finish, I will finish well. So kung ano yung pinagdududahan nyo, kinakatakutan nyo, hanap kayo ng verse, and then, ah, oh, ito magandang verse, but hindi nyo man repeat, hindi nyo minememorize, dapat i-claim nyo, isulat nyo. You have to repeat. That's the only way. You know why? Your subconscious is bobo. It only learns by repeti repetition. It does not have any skill or, of logic. Pag hindi mo inulit sa kanya, hindi niya ma ma store sa memory niya. Okay, second. 
erase the seeds of fear. How? Again, identify the fear, replace it with God's word, and kung may vision come from the prophet, and then a drawing, mo, and then repeat. The fear of what people might say to criticize me, ayan, kunwari, I'm afraid kung anong sasabihin ng mga tao sa akin. Well, ito yung magandang verse. Uh, Pastor Cooks, okay nga. I know uh, ver uh, Psalm 18, 118 verse 6, I know, Lord, that you are for me, and I will never fear what man can do to me. Verse 8, Lord, it is so much better to trust in you to save me than to put my confidence in someone else. Yes, it is so much better to trust in the Lord to save me than to put my confidence in celebrities. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, my ano is acting up. There. Celebrities. Hindi ba? Ang kon, oy, magaling yan. Oy, mayaman yan. Oy. Ayan ang mga celebrities, doon tayo bumibilib. Ayaw ni God dyan. Tanggalin na natin yan sa ating ano, kaisipan. No? Palitan natin na it is so much better to trust in God. Amen. And uh, another, erase seeds of failure. Identify yung fear of failure. Visioneering yeah, is another way to teach our subconscious mind. Gusto, alam niyo ba ang subconscious mind? Kaya ako drawing ng drawing, nagma-mind like mapping. Ang gustong gusto niya yung mga drawing, pictures. Diyan siya magaling eh, yung subconscious mind. Now, here is an experiment the Soviets did with their 1980 Olympic team and its highly skilled world-class athletes. So, ito yung sa Olympics. Ngayon, sa practice nila, gantong ginawa. The athletes were divided into four groups using varying degrees of physical, physical practice and visualization exercises. So, yung visualization, pinapa-imagine sila na panalo sila, may pinapakitang picture sa kanila na panalo sila. Para, para ano? Para dun sa kanilang sub, subconscious. Tingnan nyo yung group one. Wala, lahat sila, no? Practice, walang visualization. Group two, 75% nag-practice, may konting visualization or visionary. Yung group three, 50% practice, 50% uh, visualization. Group 4, 25% lang ang practice, 75% yung vision. So which team do you think won? Siyempre group 4, it won the most medals. So mga kapatid, uh, kaya tayo pinupunta sa propeta. Kung ano yung sinabi, drawing nyo or isulat nyo, pero mas magaling. And then para, alam nyo kung naka-drawing, mas klaro sa sa'yo eh. Pag may promise si God sa'yo, i-sketch mo lang, ikaw lang naman makakita, no? Kaya kailangan yung quiet time notebook mo, may mga sketch, ano, no? Magiging ganito ako. So, mas magaling ma-memorize ma, ma ma memorize ng iyong subconscious kesa sa mga words. And uh, we're almost done. You become what you believe. Itong sabi ni Jesus, no? Do you know that your subconscious minds can create reality? Pag, pag finit mo sa subconscious mind mo, magiging totoo yan para sa buhay mo. Sige nga, Pastor Cooks, pakibasa. Our subconscious mind is designed to believe everything you tell it. Our faith is buried deep in our subconscious. Who do you say you are? What do you say you can do? Matthew 9.28 the blind man went in with him. Jesus said to them, Do you really believe I can do this? They said, Why, yes, Master. Verses 29 to 31. He touched their eyes and said, Become what you believe. It happened. They saw. Become what you believe. Oh my, that is so powerful statement of Jesus. Become what you believe. You can create reality with... What you see, you first believe consciously, but you have to let it sink so that it becomes faith. If you don't let it sink in your subconscious, it's not faith anymore. It's just knowledge. Kasi yung maliit na yun nandito, di ba? Sa 
yung cognitive dito sa ano natin. Ano. Okay. The subconscious minds of two men and their destinies. Let me just finish with this. Gideon and David. Si Gideon, yung mental habits niya, self-deception self niya, and self-limiting. Can you read it, Pastor Fritz? Yes po. Sorry, nag-notes din ako. Gideon, mental habits, self-deception, self-limiting. Judges 6, 13. Sir, Gideon replied, If the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? And where are all the miracles our ancestors told us about? Didn't they say the Lord brought us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and handed us over to the Midianites. Then the Lord, Verse 14, Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. Okay, ho hold on, hold on. So here, complaining spirits to give you all, no? Sabi niya, Nakakainis naman yung mga, ano, nasa na yung miracles? Wala naman, sabi niya, no? Sabi, didn't they say that the Lord brought us out of Egypt? O ngayon, wala naman si Lord. Abandoned na kami. Mali yung concept niya. And then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from it, the Midianites. I'm sending you. Magiging soldier ka, warrior. Ito na naman. But Lord Gideon replied, How can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest. In the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. So let me just fix that. Okay. So, yan ang view, yung kanyang self limiting view about himself. So, ano nang yari, no? So, in other words, alam naman natin, ano? God was with Gideon, and Gideon won his battles. So, pumayag na siya, so nanalo siya. And he became judge over Israel for 40 years. But in these 40 years, Israel worshipped idols and other gods. Gideon did not become a forceful leader for God. He had limiting beliefs issues in the past. And even his victory in war was not able to turn him into an overcomer. So mga kapatid, tayong mga leaders, mga leader-leader, Pagka may limiting belief ka sa noon na noon pa, you will not become a great leader. You know what happened to Gideon? Ito ang hindi alam ng mga tao. In Judges 8.22, sabi, the Israelites said to Gideon, Gideon, be our ruler. You and your son and your grandson will be our rulers for you have rescued us from Medina. Panalo ka, ikaw ang king ruler namin. And Gideon replied, no, I will not rule over you, nor will my son, the Lord will rule over you. Kunyari pa siya. But look at verse 24. However, I do have one request, that each of you give me an earring from the plunder you collected from your fallen enemies. Alam ko may gold kayo eh, sabi niya. And the enemies being Ishmaelites all wore gold earrings. Sabi nila, gladly, they replied, and they spread out a cloak, and each one threw in a gold earring, he had gathered from the plunder. And the weight of the gold earrings was 43 pounds, not including royal ornaments, pendants, etc. Uh, or the chains around the necks. And you know what Gideon did? He made a sacred ephod from the gold, parang a sacred cow, <laughs> and put it in opera, his hometown, eto ang ephod. And soon all the Israelites prostituted themselves by worshipping it and it became a trap for Gideon and his family. For 40 years, hindi Gideon was never, never became a leader. Parang, oh, sige, naano na siya ni God, na sige, mag-fight mag ka, kaya ang dami niyang signs and that. Bakit? Kasi yung kanyang belief sa subconscious niya, Naku, maliit lang kami, mahirap kami, kailangan makuha ko yung gold. Di ba, baka, ma, baka humirap kami, kailangan makuha kong gold. Tapos na yun siya na mag-worship ng mga kung ano-ano during their time, mga pagans sila. Kailangan maniguro ako, baka hindi mag-ano si God, no? So gumawa siya ng ephod, no? Ephod parang ano yan eh, parang bakal na, no? So, ayun ang winership ng mga Israelites. 
unlike David, si David, ang ganda ng kanyang subconscious. In 1 Samuel 17, sabi niya, The Lord who rescued me from the cross of the lion and the bear will rescue me. Haharap siya sa, sa gigante. And Goliath walked out toward David with his shield bearer ahead of him, sneering in contempt at his ruddy faced boy. Sabi niya, ano? Itong batang ito, lalaban sa akin? Am I a dog? He roared at David. That you come at me with a stick? And he cursed David by the names of his God. And ito yung reply ni David. Ito yung subconscious ni David. Yung identity niya. You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies. The God of the armies of Israel. Today, the Lord will conquer you. The whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescues his people. This is the Lord's battle. And he will give you to us. So mga kapatid, no? Yan yung, yes, it's still how tragic for, for uh, Gideon. Because I want to show to you how important is your subconscious. Pag hindi na rin nyo yan, kahit ano pang mga victory, victory dyan, Babalik ka din doon dahil ayun ang umiiral sa iyo eh. Pero si, si David, di ba, he was writing songs, he was worshiping, he was right, singing songs to God. Kaya yun ang nanunuot sa kanya. So, and then, I, I love this, no? Si Daniel, the people who know their God shall be strong and do great things. Yan ang alam ni David. Yan din ang alamin nyo, mga kapatid. Come on, do you know that? Do you believe that? You will do great things. Amen? The people who know their God will do great things. And let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. That's the way to do it. Teaching and admonishing one another with wisdom, psalms, pati mga kanta, awit, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. What kind of songs are you singing? Dapat manunuot na yun sa atin. The spiritual songs. The word of God. Kaya maganda yung mga worship leaders no, na nandun na sa isip nila. And praise God, we are done. Uh, one last. Uh, uh, Pastor uh, Cooks. Titus 3, 3 to 5 from the NLT. Once we too were foolish and disobedient, we were misled and become became slaves to many lusts and pleasures. Our lives were full of evil and envy, and we hated each other. But... Ayun yung subconscious natin. Yun yung dating buhay. Ayun yung dating laman ng untak natin. Foolish, full of envy, evil, hating. But... When God, when God, our Savior, revealed His kindness... Yun ni God yung ating... Ating minds. Go ahead, Pastor. But when God our Savior revealed His kindness and love, He saved us, not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth, a new birth and new life through the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that's how we heal our subconscious and renew and our summary slide. Learn not to let your subconscious sabotage your destiny. Ano yung tatlong gagawin nyo? Mag-quiet time kayo. Take, take down notes. Ito yung gagawin nyo sa quiet. Identify ano ba yung mga negative thoughts nyo. Yung bata pa kayo. An ano mga sinasabi ng mga magulang nyo ng kwenta o yung classmate mo or ano yung iniisip mo tungkol sa sarili mo. Ano nyo, kahit na anong sabi sa inyo, mahal ka ni God. Pero kung nandun pa yon yung subconscious, lalabas at lalabas. So you have to replace it. You have to look for a verse na opposite mo para lalabanan niya. You, you, when your subconscious is saturated uh, with God's word, uh, that can, um, yung, yung lalabanan niya, yung negatives. But, mga kapatid, you have to repeat and repeat and repeat in your quiet time, paulit-ulit yan. Kaya na nag-a-attend tayo lagi. Hindi, hindi ito yung religious ano, na ginagawa natin para ano. Ginagawa natin ito para 
tayo ay ma masaturate ng subconscious. It's for our own good. Hindi yung, ay, alam ko na yan. Yan na naman, gano'n na naman. So, para masaturate ka. In Jesus' name, I finally finished it. I'm sorry it took a long time, but it's really long. Okay, so thank you so much. And uh, let me just pray for you before we take our communion. I pray, oh God, for, uh, for their minds to be completely saturated. I, Lord, when they do this exercise, I pray that uh, your Holy Spirit will take over. And they will be excited and there will be a renewal of their minds and that uh, you will use them powerfully, oh God. And uh, I speak to your subconscious right now. Hawakan nyo yung subconscious brain nyo. <laughs> Dito yan, in Jesus' name. Magbabago ka. You will be renewed. You will be powerful. You will do great things for God. Hindi ka mamamatay na hindi mo magagawa yung great plans ni God para sa'yo. Ayan ang lagi nyo sa isip nyo. Itanim nyo sa inyong isip. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise.